Well hello there trainers, greetings, Kuroblitz here and welcome back to another video. As of this month, July 2024, it's been 4 years since we had the last Pokemon movie, that being you know with the boy Coco and the mythical Zarud being Pokemon the movie Secrets of the Jungle. So I would like to imagine and I would like to challenge everyone for a new tag starting out this year being the My Pokemon Movie Tag Challenge. I want for everyone to basically write their own Pokemon movie when it comes to you know the character of Ash Ketchum or with someone else, you are free to do so, however the rules that I'm going to leave here are more importantly for an Ash type of movie. So when it comes to the rules of this tag challenge, the movie needs to be around the length of you know 88 minutes being you know a 4 part or episode but this doesn't apply to the tag video itself but more for the pacing of the actual story. When it comes to the when it comes to the other rules, the story needs to include you know Ash, Pikachu, Team Rocket, and at the very least three of Ash's Pokémon, so that he can have a minimum of four. You cannot have more than five legendaries in any movie because that's what you know the maximum for all of the other movies except for Hoopa, but that's another story. This movie can happen between any saga or any generation, and you need to tag five people at the end of the challenge. So yeah, there you have it folks, and with now, let's start the My Pokemon Movie 2024 Let's Challenge. Let's go! Alright then, so when it comes to the setting of the movie, I've decided to utilize the Holland region from the trading card games. It's a very, you know, unorthodox place, no one has actually, you know, discovered it or, you know, ventured it, so I would like to use this, and the timing of this movie, it's going to be between, you know, the ending of Diamond and Pearl with Sinnoh League Victors and the beginning of the first universe series being, you know, Pokemon Black and White. This is going to be that transition phase, and with that, I'm going to use Sinnoh Ash for this one. He's going to see a lot of stuff in the Holland region, from all of the devices, as well as from all of the amazing landmarks. And when it comes to the supporting cast, I feel like you know all of the characters from farmers to mentors to adventurers, all of the people from the Holland region and mainly from the Holland city tower, they're going to play a pivotal role when it comes to you know helping out Ash. When it comes to Ash himself, I decided for him to bring five Pokemon for this adventure, being his iconic Pikachu, but as well as Mug, Aerocross, Glalie and Torterra. I feel like Torterra needs more shine besides Infernape, especially after the end of Diamond and Pearl, and the last time we saw Torterra it was in Mesesay Pokemon Master, and apparently he learned Frenzy Plant, an ultimate move, and since we have the Holland Mirage Forest, I feel like this would be the perfect way for you know, Torterra to learn that ultimate move and to be on par with Ash's Infernape and not fumble anymore. When it comes to Mug, Heracross and Glalie, I decided to have them here because they were never in any movies. From Kanto, Johto and Hoans, they were never in any movies, so I decided to have them in this movie in particular. When it comes to Team Rocket, they are here and they are doing their training to be their best wishes selves, but they are incorporating in the Radio Tower of Holland and they are disguised as newscasters because they want to, you know, try to see wavelengths and radio transmissions to try to find a Delta Mew, a Mew that's fire type. It's known to be living in this village and in this region, but there is no sights of them yet and that's why they are here. They are trying to locate this legendary Pokemon. But the story would not be about Mew, it would be about another legendary Pokemon, but it would involve Team Rocket. This would be a Team Rocket movie through and through. The skies of Holon would have electrical magnetic fields as well as several storms because of meddling from higher ups and executives of Giovanni, one of them being Pierce. Yes, I'm going to utilize the villain from Best Wishes because someone had to and this is going to be his introduction even before the series actually started and he's going to be on, you know, communications with Dr. Zager and they are going to be, you know, the villains of this movie. Now, when it comes to all of this interference with electrical magnetical stuff, it's going to be the work of Raikou. They are going to have their own Raikou, it's going to be a nice contrast and parallel to the Legend of Thunder 
where Dr. Sebastian as well as Athena and Han were never able to get it, but now Zager and Pierce are going to be able to get it. I feel like Raikou deserves their movie because Hentai and Suikun also had their presences. I know that he was in the Zoroark movie being the one prior, movie 13, Master of Illusions, but I feel like, you know, a more nefarious Raikou would be a pivotal role. But he would not be the actual legendary mascot of the movie, it's more so a Heart Colossal so Silver tie-in. The actual mascot, it's going to be a Pokemon that was never seen before. The actual mascot for Pokemon Silver. The beta Pokemon that was replaced by Lugia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my Pokemon movie. Pokemon the movie. Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. Raikou and the Metallic Leader, Argent Sar. And with the prologue out of the way, let's get it started. When it comes to the first 22 minutes of the movie, being part 1 of it, Ash would go to the Holland region and he would meet a lot of Pokemon that the people locally dubbed as Delta Species, Pokemon that you know emanate and radiate energy from what they call the Metal and the Lightning type, being another abbreviations and attributes for, you know, steel and electric. Ash would see lots of Pokemon with these characteristics and they are very focused on either birds or the wind element, like Chimeco, Piro, Ladian and Mantine. These are very powerful Pokemon that have either the steel or the lightning attribute. And while during the visit, apparently Team Rocket did something that allowed for an electric for alligator to cut loose and this is where Pikachu would have to tame it. But since it's electric and not water, Pikachu would have, you know, a difficult time and because of all of the electrical magnetic e exposure, Pikachu would change types temporarily for this movie being, you know, a metal delta type. Pikachu would be a steel type and I would like to, you know, do this homage to Terrastal because this was the inspiration for Terrastal and this is where all of the movie comes into place and it kind of justifies why Pikachu's Iron Tail and Best Wishes looked dope as hell. That CGI was immaculate. I want to give an origin story for that. Now, when it comes to the second part of the movie, until minute 44, this is where Jesse, James and Meowth are informing the other rocket operatives and this is where stuff is starting to get serious. And that's because we have the introduction of Pierce, Zager and Raikou and they are, you know, meddling with all of the fauna and flora all of the radio tower of the Holland of the Holland city and the region itself from the Dragon Frontier to the Southern Islands to the Mirage Forest everything is running amok because of this Raikou but there is one Pokemon that is able to stop them that being Argentsar the metallic leader Pokemon this is a pure steel type and this is the Pokemon responsible for everyone else to basically have, you know, either the electric or the steel type when it comes to their exposure energy. Ash does recall this Pokemon. Apparently, it was on a mural in the Viridian City Pokemon Center along with the three legendary birds. And there has been rumors that this Pokemon apparently is a legendary from Kanto, but decided to, you know, roam all over the world. And they have, you know, several resting places, one of them being Mount Silver in the Johto region. And Ash allies with this Pokemon in order to, you know, bring Raikou, in order to save Raikou and to bring Team Rocket down. The meddling of Team Rocket apparently has been doing a lot of damage to the local Pokemon, to the point where they are all now getting the steel type but it's going to be permanently and all of the delta waves they are changing the primary types of pokemon and all of the clusters of holland they are you know exposuring themselves to an utter chaos we are seeing pokemon with types that are not supposed to be like a fighting blastoise a psychic valplume a fire salamance a grass flygon it's utter chaos because and it's Ash's work as well as with Argentsar to you know stop all of this malevolousness. They need to bring balance back to nature. However, Ash's Pikachu is not the only one who has you know a change in types. Apparently, all of his other Pokemon do as well. Because we have a Fire Heracross, a Water Glalie, a Dark Muck, and a Rock Torterra. Ash needs to, you know, save everyone. His own Pokemon, 
and the region that he's now visiting. And with that, he hops on Argentsar and they decide to, you know, follow Zager and Pierce. And this is where we have a showdown between the Steel Pikachu and the Dark Raikou. We have the cat and the mouse, electric in nature, doing their all. This Raikou apparently even has the move Aura Sphere, so it's giving Pikachu a lot of trouble due to now being super effective. But Pikachu decided to channel all of its energy and give a glimmer, a beam of light, a powerful thunderbolt that has, you know, all of this mineral composure to it. It's basically a white lightning, a flash of powerful light. And this is basically unable to, you know, dysfunction Raikou and it's able to bring it down. And of course, this does comprise the 66 minute mark and the 88 minute mark of the movie. And with that, Ash saves the day, everyone in Holland is basically thankful to him. And uh, I really wanted to, you know, do a story when it comes to the TCG. I simply didn't know how to, and I decided, you know, hey, maybe a movie tag challenge will be okay. And I really like, you know, the beta of, you know, this Pokemon. I feel like, you know, Ash needs a story with, you know, them. And it kind of becomes his honorary sixth during this adventure. So, yeah. Um, trainers, let me know what you like to, you know, see of the movie, what details you would like to know. I can answer them more properly in the comment section down below. Um, what would you like to see? Because the tag challenge, it will not only be for the five people, it will also be for you. Anyone, anyone is free to do this tag challenge. Anyone and everyone is free to do this tag challenge. In the comments, on their, in their own video, just hashtag MyPokemonMovie2024 and credit me in the link section down below. And when it comes to the actual people that I want to tag, here are the five main ones. So we have Aleximo, Xenolith, Trayman 1, Goggle Master, and Samurai Trainer Z. You folks are now tagged. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this movie. I really like the idea of, you know, Raikou and Pikachu basically being the Ebony Bolt and the Ivory Bolt. So there you have it, trainers. Make sure to stay tuned for more on the channel. Leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you another time. Kuro Blitz out.